clinical trials are one of the most important things that we do at a cancer center because this is where research in cancer actually gets to the patients. Almost all the research that we're trying to do is in order to try to improve cancer therapies for the patients that we take care of. Clinical trials are how that happens. Everything that we take for granted in cancer treatment, things like surgery, things like chemotherapy, things like radiation therapy, they were all developed through clinical trials. So everything that we do as standard of care was developed in a clinical trial. Therefore, clinical trials are how we make treatment decisions. That's how we take care of patients is all based on prior clinical trials. We're here to um, promote research in the numerous disciplines of cancer care. We're here to provide optimal clinical care for patients uh, and to provide them with the long-term survivorship care that's essential to their recovery. The standard of care in head and neck cancer is amazing, but really we have a lot to still do and a lot to learn. We are still not curing all of the cancers that we see. So to me, that's where clinical trials come into play. It's important to have a variety of patients involved in clinical trials because everybody can be touched by cancer, no matter what your age, gender, race, whatever background, you can be touched by cancer. Therefore, we need clinical trials that represent the kinds of patients that get cancer. Therefore, it's important that clinical trials involve everyone so that we know how the, the new therapies are going to perform in patients of different backgrounds. We have an obligation to the people of South Carolina to meet their clinical and research and other needs. Because we're an NCI-designated cancer center, we are able to participate in clinical trials that are only offered through NCI-designated cancer centers. Through our partnerships with other health systems across the state, we can offer these trials to people in the communities where they live and work and play. That's one of the major benefits to us of being an NCI-designated cancer center. Clinical trials come in a lot of different flavors. And I think, um, understandably, it's scary to think about being part of a study or being you know, researched upon. Um, and, and there's a few approaches that I take with my patients. One is for them to understand that, A, they do not need to participate if that's not what they want to do. We will continue to take great care of them regardless. But I also think it's an opportunity to help bend how, how medicine is practiced in the future. Understanding that that's not appealing to everybody, but also understanding that, that for some people, they realize that's going to allow us to make some changes in the future of medicine. The therapies that are in clinical trials today are the standard of care therapies that we'll be giving to patients tomorrow. For example, 10 years ago, immune therapies were not part of the standard of care. Now immune therapies are everywhere. They had to be evaluated in clinical trials to make sure that they were beneficial for patients with cancer before that we could use them routinely. Now they're used every day on patients with cancers, and 10 years ago, we weren't using those types of therapies routinely. Of the available and ongoing clinical trials that we have at MUSC Hollings, some of the most exciting to me are the cellular therapies. These are therapies that, again, didn't exist a few years ago and are now standard of care in many malignancies. But they are not applied to every kind of cancer, and I do think we have several trials that are trying to apply these new cellular therapies in other new types of cancer that we haven't explored those therapies in before. I think those are some of the most exciting trials that we have going on. Plus, there are new therapies that are based on precision oncology, based on the genetics of a particular cancer or the genetics of a particular patient. And we try to do a good job of matching patients and the kinds of cancers that they're suffering from with precision medications to actually treat those cancers in a more precise way. At Hollings Cancer Center, we truly believe that the best cancer care comes in the context of a clinical trial. No matter where you get treated, ask your provider, how can I participate in a clinical trial? Because that's how we improve cancer care for ourselves and for our future.